enjoying life. Headed out to my uh, first. Let's see what we got here. Boom, boom, boom. Good morning, Silas Steppers. This ward is coming to you from South Florida. Headed to my first uh, appointment this morning at 8 a.m. I'll be right off of uh, in an area called Pompano. Let's see, the quickest route to get there is. See. Definitely trying to stay focused. Shout out to um, Nicole and Gio. Glad I can help you guys out with that uh, warranty, that warranty information along with your itemization. Anytime you guys are uh, purchased a consultation with me, so I am definitely at your beck and call. I am fully invested because you are fully invested in me. It's called a mutual respect. Uh, reciprocating relationship you guys are really uh, making strides and I'm very impressed and very proud of you continue to, to stay focused put your systems in place and build on those systems the sky's the limit yes it is so with that said I'm going to um, focus today on a couple of things what is have a plan have a main have your main plan then you have your backup I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday we we're looking at options as far as uh, sending the cash flow from appliance repair into other businesses that don't require um, a lot of hands-on because you want to get to that level and we were talking about something called a perpetuary uh, what is that what is it? it starts with a it's a special type of trust, and I think it's per perpetuary or something like that. You don't even see that it listing it listed. It's not a. Uh, it's basically a trust that continues at the time, at the time, at the time. And uh, you know, we're talking about whole life insurance and all those other investment avenues that a lot of people don't uh, do that really protect your wealth. And we were talking about the way to access money and to be able to put it back without a problem. Now, a lot of people don't think like that, but the reality is, as you accumulate wealth, your money, number one, needs to work harder than you do. Number two, you have to find vehicles that you can put that money in that you have access to with little or no issues and where you don't uh, throw waves when you do or make waves. And a lot of people don't understand those type of moves, but when you get at, to a certain level, as they say, there are levels to this. You better know where your money's going and how that money's going to take care of you. Because there are too many opportunities to get out here and not only get paid, but to, to build a generational wealth. A wealth that will live well past you. And those are the things that I actually, uh, how I move. Because I'm very clear that the gifts I had were not given to me just to sit stagnant that I need to parlay these gifts in all areas of opportunity. So with that said, you know, if you're in any type of business, I sincerely hope that, you know, you follow certain blueprints. There are several people. You got Mike that put out the five bank accounts, and that's just the beginning. You know, if you can get your financial house in order, you don't have to work as hard. Or either you could be like me, work hard for fun, which is a little insane, but, you know, that's a different conversation. The reality is you got to get out here and you got to grind and you got to uh, invest what you're making. You got to put things aside. And a lot of us aren't raised that way. You know, we so busy uh, surviving and living from pillar to post. You know what I mean? We don't know what it is to put money to the side. You know, we think it's a damn celebration. I got some extra money, so let me go get what I've been wanting to get, get, get. And then you get it, 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 when you get it, the value drops before you even buy it. Like, the reality is, you know, people are always talking about assets over liability, but a lot of people don't even know what that is. And it's nothing to be ashamed of because the beautiful part 
about anything is that people can learn behaviors. They can learn how to do a lot of things. And you got to realize the people that's doing whatever they're doing now, they had to learn that. You know? This is interesting. I wonder what that is. All right, for the hot shots, baby. Hot shots making all the money. Love it. I know about that life. Anyway, getting back to, that's another great business, but you better have the capital and be ready. That's all I can say. Hot shot trucking, one of my favorite ventures. Um, and this uh, Martin, y'all need to get over there and get that course with him on that dumpster thing. I was just talking to my friend that's in, uh, she's uh, in uh, custom home building. And she was talking about how locally, you know, the Metro Atlanta market is sold up and they got a person they deal with get great rates. But because they build all over the state of Georgia, that when they go outside the, uh, out of Fulton County, it's a wrap. They say those people don't, with the dumpsters, they charge what they want to charge. Their contracts, I mean, that. I mean, they end up paying so much money, but it is what it is. You know, they have to do business. They need the dumpsters. So that's definitely a great business. Shout out to Martin and GT, JT on that. Also, you know, the brother with the pontoon boats. I mean, the reality is there's no reason for us not to get paid on any level. And there's ways you can get paid and automate these businesses where they don't take up all of your time. You know, the only reason, like I say, I'm in here touching and doing stuff like I'm doing is because I'm gathering data so that as I build the SOP and the template for the businesses, you know, these, <laughs> y'all just don't understand. Y'all go to business, man. Y'all got to widen y'all scope. And I talk to so many people and they so damn focus on one thing or one asset or, or, or one one situation and they have no clue of how to get this paper like really no clue and the way to get you not only got to get it but you got to get it and you got to keep it this is going to be industry are they going to let me in here get on over here I love it just in the way. In the way. How am I supposed to go somewhere? What you want me to do? Ain't nothing I can do, bro. It ain't me. Man. This is why I like to get out early. I can't stand traffic. Welcome to Florida. Sunshine will blind you definitely but um like i said y'all gotta get out here and get this paper and once you get this paper you really got to focus on where to put it where to grow it how to build it how to maintain it oh boy it's just hilarious to me i sit back and i watch so many things but i've learned you know let me stay in my lane and work on mine i know people are like why is she talking about finances there are reasons I'm talking about it because some people need to hear it. They have never heard the fact that their money is supposed to work harder than them. They've never heard the fact that you can have multiple businesses. You know, like anything else, I think Mike Sneed is one of the best when it comes to this. Um, you know, you build a business not to have a job. You build a business for wealth. And you need to build a business in such a way you can automate it. It don't matter what the business is, even appliance repair. Depending on how you go at it and how you come into the game, you have to build it in such a way. You know, the reason I touch everything is because as I'm hitting these touch points in appliance repair, I'm building out systems so that I can pull myself out of the business, but it, it'll be still be extremely lucrative. And that's how I think. I think that way because unless you've been there, you have no idea. You don't know what to invest in, what equipment to invest in, how to train your people, what to focus on, where the, the real sweet spot is. And the only way you know that is to touch it. You know, people can do data and this and that all day long. And they can uh, do this philosophical, uh, philosophical move and this 
paralysis analysis shit. But at the end of the day, until you really touch it, you don't know life, for instance. Say someone gathers all the data, right? But they've never worked in appliance repair. Then they get out there and hit a wall. They hit a wall because there's a problem with back order parts or there's a special skill set or there's a special requirement for you to work on certain compressors, whether they be residential or commercial or maybe you knew nothing about R600 or, you know, like I said, there's so many pieces to this game. You just find your lane and you smooth it out and you maximize in that lane while that lane is on. And that's what I have. I have things that are in already in appliance repair that are really on autopilot. I really don't have to touch them. The only thing I got to do is make a sale and hand it over. I mean, really, literally. And that's where you want to be. And the only way you get there is to understand what it takes for number one, the technician to do the job, the quality and the skill level of the technician to get the job done and the relationship you have to build with the clientele and find the people you can trust who you don't have to be there to babysit. It's really not that hard, but the problem is most people don't know how to hire. They don't, they don't know how to hire slow and they don't know how to fire quick. They don't know how to um, sub work out and how to read your sub skill set. Like right now, you know, like I said, I don't even have to touch when it comes to seal systems, I don't even have to touch a seal system. And I've worked out systems to where, you know, my subs go and get it done while I'm doing, I might be in class. Like I was in class last night. It was a late day, but I had a sub. I had one sub knocking out an evaporator uh, on one uh, unit. I had another sub doing a compress on another unit. I had another sub doing a... Um, dryer and uh, condenser on another unit. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm making money while I'm in class. And what people don't understand, that's a skill set. That ain't something you give away for free. And it's something you got to work at because as you navigate that, and the people who are uh, in my mentee, in my personal um, mentor group, and the people who are paying me for consultations, they're aware that like all the like the fog has lifted you know but the key is they still have they're gonna hit other hurdles but i'm gonna be there because they invested in me and that's business you know i had to realize that i can't continue to give things away for free because people are not going to appreciate it and it's really not gonna develop a life of its own like i really wanted to you know and those are the things you got to think about in business with that said, I'm going to sign off. Have a great day.